ECU Police Department calls them an extra set of eyes and ears. But on campus, they're known as the Student Patrol. Stephanie Carnavale is the crime preventing sergeant at ECU and oversees student patrol operations. They provide escorts for students, faculty, and staff. They secure a lot of our buildings for us. The student officers stay in close contact with the police department. They all carry radios so they're able to contact us if they see anything suspicious. Andrew Endicott is a senior and the head supervisor of the student patrol. I've had to report uh, you know, suspicious activity and, and situations that could get out of control to uh, the police department. But the unarmed student officers are not trained to pursue any suspicious activity. They do not get involved in any kind of physical altercation. Obviously their safety comes first. Endicott became involved as a freshman and now oversees all the student patrol shifts. All shifts uh, work from 6 to midnight and during the weekends, Thursday through Saturday, uh, residence hall shifts are required to work from 8 till 2 in the morning. Kelsey Ahern is a freshman living in a residence hall in West End. It's just weird when you're in a new place and you don't know the people or what might happen. And her parents have the same concerns. We've always just said make sure you're with somebody. We can have them either bring them in the golf cart, sometimes we'll do walking escorts, um, but basically it's so that they feel safe and they don't have to walk on their own, especially after hours. The campus is also filled with nearly 200 emergency blue light phones. Anyone can press this red button and be directly connected with police dispatch over a built-in speaker phone. And the newer models like this one even have video surveillance. Surveillance. Blue light phones are located throughout main campus as well as Bodie School of Medicine. You really can't go very far. Um, they're strategically placed so that you're not getting very far without seeing another one. If students feel unsafe or notice anything suspicious, they're urged to call Student Patrol or the ECU Police Department. This is Carly Sewell reporting for The Source.